just like everybody else in their bass playing journey, at one time in mine, I was a beginner. And I know firsthand how tough it is to create bass lines. So here's one bass line or here's a concept for you to understand and to learn so you can create your own bass lines. Okay, so as you guys can see, I was playing a simple bass line from one to the four. So in the key of G minor, and then to the four, C7. Very simple bass line to play. So what you wanna understand first is where this is coming from. So I'm playing a G minor bass line or G minor chord progression, and I'm playing it to the four. So the one to the four, okay? So we have those two notes to work with, but now where are those notes coming from? We have the G minor, which is coming from a Dorian scale in this case, since our four is a C7, and that will be a Mixolydian scale. So the first steps for you to follow in creating a bass line is first figuring out where these notes are coming from. So what I wanna do in the beginning, as you guys heard, I was playing a chord. I actually broke up a chord, a G minor seven chord, and then I broke up a C seven chord. But all I did was play the one, three, and the seven. So for the G minor, I'm playing the one, the B flat, and the F. Okay, so we have G, B flat, F. And that's the chord you would have for a G minor seven. And then for the fourth four chord, I played the C7, which is C, E, B flat. Remember in this case for a mixolydian or a C7 dominant chord, you will flat the seventh note. So we have C, E, and B flat, which is just a C7 chord. So what I did was break up the chord and created a bass line just with that alone. see how easy it was to create a bass line just from those three notes of the chord so breaking up the chord I'm actually leaving out the fifth note I can actually play the fifth note if I wanted to but I'm choosing to leave that out just for flavor purposes but you can do as you wish so you can spell out the whole arpeggio if you would like or you can just spell out the one three and the seven doesn't really matter but just make sure you stay true to the chord tones of the chord at the time if that makes sense so another thing that you can do it's just literally playing the arpeggio, like I mentioned. Hey. And then for the four. And then what I just did there, I walked up chromatically three notes prior or three notes before the root note, before the G. E, F, F sharp, G, right before it landed on that note. So. So I believe the most important thing to understand is recognizing the key and the mode or scale that the chord represents. Okay, so if I'm playing the one chord, whatever scale that represents in order for us to create a bass line, a solid bass line or foundation, the four chord is Mixolydian in this case because we're in the minor key. Okay, for a major key, it's a little bit different as well. But in this case, this is what we're using. I just like this. Uh, groove and I just wanted to play with it and show you guys exactly how I created this bass line. Very, very simplistic bass line. G, B flat, F, going back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. And it's really up to you as far as rhythmically what you would like to do. I would leave that up to your imagination. I don't want to give you guys something to just tell you this is what you need to play. This is the steps in order for you to figure out how to create your own bass line. So take this, run with it like I always say, especially with the four chord as well or with the Mixolydian scale. And it's also great to know different things in different positions or how to play this in different spots and areas on the bass. exact notes just a different position so it sounds a little bit different gives it a little bit of a different feel but like I said that's the most important thing you need to understand is figuring out where this comes from first and then you have so many different ideas or so many different opportunities to play and create different bass lines so make sure your notes are coming out clean clear and precise if you have any questions please 
comment down below you guys know what to do also if you want to learn more about this dive a little bit deeper into this subject base nation academy is where you need to be an online based education school for tons of people uh we have thousands of people there we have courses we have live stream classes we have all the goodies that you would need to enhance your base playing to that next level so check it out link is in the description also click that notification bell if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe first then the notification bell to get notified every single time we upload a video to this channel and i'll check you guys in the next one peace